Hello everyone, welcome along to the conservatory here this morning. I have just got back from the car boot sale um, and I can guarantee somebody will be on the dog and bone fairly shortly as soon as he sees that. Um, not everything you see here is from the car boot sale. This and this are pickups from work. And I think that's where we'll start. Okay, so one of the guys came in and said he had some old tools that used to belong to his uh, grandfather and would I be interested in any of them? So I went along and I had a look and I found this uh, sort of raspy type file thing here. It's a bit rusty, needs a wire brushing. It's got an interesting handle on it, which is a um, Montex grip, patented plastic grip on there. And the file itself is, let's have a look here, it's a spear file, England, BS498. So I figured it would come in quite handy for filing wood because it's uh, quite rough as you can see, half round. Okay, so there's that. And then my uh, colleague in the machine shop said, that, oh, I'm throwing this tin out if you want it. I thought, well, it looks interesting. It was... Um, Exceedingly filthy and I've cleaned it up before I brought it home. But as you can see it says Clarkson Auto Lock 716th UNF R8 Collet on there. So what's that? Well it's this thing here as you can see from the pictures. Um, it's a, obviously something in the mill I guess to hold um, bits and pieces, tools in the mill. But um, yeah, so that's quite a nice box. I thought I'll have that. I'm sure I can put some uh, rubbish in there. I've got this lot from uh, my favourite tool stall for seven pounds. Now, if you guys wanna um, take a guess in the comments down below what this little fella was used for, um, please feel free, because we'll get back to this later on. So if you wanna uh, pause the video now and um, go down in the comments and leave a guess, I'll wait for you here. Okay, so we'll have a look at that later on. Um, just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd pick these up. These little things here, look. English breakfast tea. An afternoon tea on that one. So I've got bre English breakfast tea and English afternoon tea in that one. A little old uh, English post box there. And an old telephone box right there. And they are actually still full of tea. Um, I don't know why I picked them up, apart from they're quite cute and I quite like them. Um, I can't drink tea myself because it really doesn't agree with me and makes me feel quite ill. So I thought I'd have those two just for a bit of fun. Next up we have a little tool maker's clamp. This one's not too bad, it's just a bit of light rust on it. You can still see the original finish underneath there so I'm hoping that a, a dip in vinegar, and I've got some new vinegar, um, will make this look nice again. Um, Mrs Rathbone pinched my new gloves by the way, so I've had to resort to my old ones again. But yes, yeah, so that's quite a nice one, I quite like that little um, tool maker's clamp there. Not bad at all, no marks on it. And of course there's the obligatory pliers. Um, what does it say on here then? Let's have a look. I can't quite read that, I'll have to go and uh, stick these on the wire brush I think. Hang on a minute, well that's better. Elliot Lucas. Uh, 1952 we have the broad arrow mark and it looks like C182 or 4 something there, I, don't know, I can't quite make that out and there might even be a number on the other side, there's a 2 just there, I don't know what that's all about I'm sure but um, yeah so there we go and these ones weren't um, sold out of service either because they don't have the arrow point, another arrow pointing at this one so these were simply taken away by whomever had been using them We've got interesting blue handles. Whether they came from the factory with blue handles, I don't know. But uh, they're quite nice. Quite like those. Got to pick up a nice pair of pliers when you see them. Okay then, so have you all put your guesses in the comments what you think this is? I thought, what on earth is this thing here? It's quite interesting. And um, it's not. Well, look at the jaws, look. There's gaps in the jaws there. And we have two Bella, and it looks like pending to me on that side. And then on the other side, made in England. These things are spring loaded. We've got a little safety catch there that keeps popping undone because it's a bit loose. It doesn't take much to loosen it off. There we go. We've got a little bit to uh, stop.
stop your hand sliding forward on them. But as I say, there's quite a largish gap in the jaws here. Well, I had to look these up myself because I thought, what are these? They look quite interesting. Turns out they're for cutting uh, roofing slates. You know the old-fashioned roofing slates? Just pop it in there. Chink! And cuts them in half. Out and don't trap your thumb in there either. Right, yeah, I've got my thumb trapped in this nice little gap here, look. So, yeah, there we go. So they're quite interesting. Tubella um, roofing slate cutters. They're spring-loaded, as you can see. There's a spring in there. It looks like it's got a bit of a broken spring there as well, for uh, some reason or another. I don't know what that's all about. Hmm, a bit of loose spring in there. See that falling about there? don't know what that's all about. But there we go. So, roofing slate cutters. They're interesting. I have to have those. Okay, so one of the first things, if not the first thing I bought today, was this little gadget here. You probably all know what this is. If you don't, I'll tell you. It is an old uh, pair of curling tongs. Quite old, probably going back, I don't know, beginning of last century, uh, 1900s, 1920s, 1930s maybe, something like that. They're there for quite uh, large curls, as you can see there. Just heat them up, put your hair in there, wrap it around, get a nice curl. The um, varnish is coming off the handles a little bit. This is the sort of thing that um, Daphne Tottington would have used to do with her hair. I don't know if Mrs Rathbone wants to do her with hair with them, because I think she likes to keep her straight, actually. And this cost me 50 pence. And then I picked up this uh, little tiny diamond brand, 4 inch, 100 mil, made in China, adjustable spanner. This cost me 50 pence. Runs quite nicely. I mean, obviously the jaws aren't the best, as you can see there, look. But um, I haven't got a 4 inch adjustable spanner till now. Okay then, let's, um, in a moment or two, uh, because I know someone who's going to be straight on the dog and bone about this very, very shortly. So let's have a look at my star buy. And I found this on my favourite tool stall, amongst all the other adjustables. It was right at the bottom. I thought, oh, there's a little adjustable spanner there. I'll have that. What is that? Well, it's a little 4 inch and, let's check the make, it's a little Barco, look. It's a Barco 69, Sweden. It's got one star on the uh, handle there. 55, what have we got on the other side? Um, if I can read that, hang on. Well, it looks like we've got some numbers there. Uh, we've got BA um, Horth, I think that is. Horth Co, Stockholm, and Sverige, something like that. This is your 55 and your little star, Sweden, 69, Barco, 4 inch. How well does it run? Let's have a look, shall we? Not too bad. It's a little bit on the stiff side of things. You could do with a dip in the ultrasonic cleaning tank. Look how nice and sharp the jaws are on this. It's not had a lot of use, has it, really? That's quite a nice one. Barco, 69, Sweden. So these two are my first 4 inch adjustable spanners, I believe. Um, yeah, this is a 4 inch. It's got no metric on there, but the other one says 4 inch and 100 mil, so uh, this will be 100 mil long too. It's not the smallest adjustable spanner I've got, but it's quite a nice one. Nice little Barco. Don't know how old it is. I'm sure Ben could tell us how old it is, or uh, you know, how rare it is. But it's a very, very nice little uh, spanner, is that? I like that a lot. My star buy for today. Okay, so you may have noticed I've got a different display table in here today, and that's because it's an offcut of kitchen worktop. Because not last week, but the week before, I had a week off um, to replace the worktops in the kitchen. It took us all week to do it, Mrs. Rathbone and I, because we're getting on a bit now, of course. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd have this bit as a new um, display worktop here because there's a lot more surface area to play with as you can see so I can get more tools on here if I need to but the uh, as I say the kitchen is looking a lot nicer now actually quite a lot nicer than it looked um, the week before I say it took us uh, especially this part here took me ages cutting out the hole you've got to cut it to length and then cut out the hole for the uh, the sink here 
so it took me uh, quite a while doing that but um, yeah what do you think guys and there's this side too and then last week it was a very busy week for me because uh, whilst I was on holiday one of the guys from the tech team came in to work and reported um, after a few days that he had a positive Covid test so they sent everybody home on Thursday so when I went in Monday there was just me and one other there so I was doing quite a lot of work last week um, which is why I didn't put any content out yesterday I thought sod it I'm gonna have a, a quite relaxing day yesterday so that's exactly what I did watching quite a bit of um, Laurel and Hardy actually okay then everyone so uh, let me know down in the comments which is your favorite item here not the gloves um, which is your favorite item here um, there's no footprint wrenches this week um, I think I know what Ben's favourite is going to be that little fella there because it's actually my favourite of the day too it's my star buy nice little 4 inch barco and that little fella is going to go into the um, ultrasonic cleaning tank tomorrow so we'll give that a clean up see what it's like so yeah two 4 inch wrenches today um, roofing slate cutter curling tongs got another set of curling tongs, these are a bit thicker than the other set I've got and for a bit of fun I bought some tea although I can't drink tea but uh, yeah so uh, let me know down in the comments which is your favourite tool of this lot and um, yeah well I'll see you another time then so thanks for watching guys <coughs>